Healthcare Practic. Today we're here with Derek, who we have been working with um, on his posture because he has kind of a forward flex posture due to the nature of his job. A lot of people have this kind of forward rounded shoulders due to working at a desk. So um, why don't you tell me where you're feeling your discomfort? Um, so it mainly comes up through my upper back and then most of my right side now. I think that might be because I'm sleeping and that kind of radiates up through my neck here. Okay, so he has what's classically called upper cross syndrome, which is kind of this forward rounded posture. So we're gonna be working on these tight muscles. So we're gonna be working on the levator and the traps, and we're gonna do that with our grass and therapy. All right, so we're gonna be working on Derek's uh, levator and his upper trap. These are postural muscles that tend to get tight um, to, with upper cross syndrome. And what we're gonna do is actually just find the area. So he has a little trigger point here, and we're just gonna work through that and work across that. So you can see it's starting to get red right away, which just says that there's some inflammation there and that it's tight. So we're gonna go through here, we're gonna go along the upper trap, and then we're gonna go down the levator a little bit. And I always like to add in a little bit of movement with this once we get going, because muscles are made to move and we can kind of see how they're working as we go through this. So what I'm gonna have him do is tilt his head down and then turn your chin to the right, good. And then we're gonna have you come back up out of that posture and then do the same thing. All the while, we're gonna be working through trying to break up some of these muscle adhesions and work through this with the grass and therapy. Now, a lot of times, if you go to somebody who is not trained in grass and who is not trained well in instrument-assisted soft tissue, um, they're gonna be looking to give you a bruise, and that is not necessarily a good thing to do. You don't need to have bruising in the area to get a good treatment or to get this loosened up here. Um, some people will bruise just because they're a little bit more sensitive or if the muscle is really inflamed, but it's not something that needs to be sought after. So he might have a little bit of bruising. You can see how red he gets just off of that scouting through there, but he shouldn't have anything too bad. And I don't like to give people a bruise because if I do, that kind of prolongs their treatment. And then it's also the next time they come in, I'll be treating a bruise instead of the muscle. So again, we're just working through this upper trap, this levator, trying to loosen that up here. So the upper traps and the levator are called postural muscles. There's two types of muscles. There's postural and they're phasic. And postural muscles, when they tend towards dysfunction, what they do is that they get tight and stiff. And phasic muscles tend to get weak. So this is just one portion of the treatment that we would give for upper cross syndrome. Another part of it is going to be um, doing some strengthening exercises. So when we do some strengthening exercises, the phasic muscles of this would be the lower and mid to tra mid traps, and then also the rhomboids and the serratus. So we would give them some low rows, some stuff to really strengthen up here. Um, but for the meantime, what we can do is really help release these upper traps and the levator, and that's gonna help make him feel a little bit better through here. So another part of treatment is the mobilization or the adjustment, and we always want to work through the area of complaints. So we're going to be working through his mid-back and then his CT junction, which is his cervical to thoracic spine. So we've already done an exam on Derek, so I already know where we're going to be working through. So what I'm going to do is have you take a deep breath in and let it all the way out. Good. Got a little push. Good. And in and halfway out. And hold. And then drop your hands up to the table for me. This one releases a lot of tension. Um, a lot of people tend to hold tension in their shoulders. So everyone who works at a desk really likes this adjustment. We'll turn. Good. And on the other side. I like to do my cervical adjustments or the neck adjustments seated because it gives the patient a little bit more control, especially when they have a lot of tightness in their upper traps. They don't always tend to release it when we're doing a rotation. So this is how I like to do it. So I'm gonna have you scooch forward a little bit and then lean back in the chair, kind of slouch down. Good, and then what we're gonna do is find the area of restriction, get on that, and just give a little tug here at the end. Good. And then we're going to check the other side. One more here. There we go. Good. How'd that feel? Much better. Awesome. 
So that's what a typical treatment would look like for the upper cross syndrome or for trap tightness. Um, and then we'd also be sending Derek home with some stretches to do outside of here. We always give our patients homework to do. He's been working on his postural exercises and we're trying to draw his shoulders back and down so that to kind of combat the daily activity of him forward. Um, and then after we get the stretching done, we're gonna move on to strengthening exercises.